Hello people and welcome back to another video now. Today I'm doing back in this Sunman crew. Um I was just recording and I did a bit and uh it was on the nineteenth uh, when I left last video and I had to stop recording. So yeah, that's why you might have noticed that it's not the same day as last well if someone does actually pay that much attention so i have actually changed it so um instead of all my young players being on balanced uh, you can see that i've changed it a bit well you you already knew okay so jensen is now playmaker Tribbin is uh, a goalkeeper, and Courgette is a ball. I, I I want to think of like nicknames for everyone, because for Corbett, the best nickname would be Courgette. Like, because I think like just shorter names, not just silly names. Uh, Stu the Stewart, Gucci Banana. Or Gooch. Just, just Sen for Jensen. <laughs> I, I like. I it's just like, like it's not as special if like all of them have their own names. If like just one has one funny one, like Courgette. Oh yeah, I think one player was also loaned out. Yeah, yeah, I think. Oh, why doesn't he have a player face? Because usually, um, like Courgette and Hill, they have player faces. But I guess it's fair. Players don't need player face. Players don't need player faces. I guess that makes sense. I'm happy letting him go out for a year. So, this squad is lo looking decent. Uh, yeah. My favourite play we currently have is between Trubin and Jensen. So, if we actually manage to, uh, I I don't think we ever will play against Brentford because the problem is Brentford play um, Brentford play in uh, the Championship and they're very likely to go up to the Premier League and then. And then if we manage to get up to the Premier League this season, uh, that we got up into there. So we might actually, but, okay. I really want this Muller dude, but he doesn't want to relocate. Like I was saying, I do actually want the new midfielder. Like, having... Uh, to championship midfielders and bringing them both down. I, I really want Larucci. <laughs> but you're not willing to relocate. Why? Why? Please let me loan him in. Loan to buy? Yeah, okay, that's fair. A year. Okay. 50-50? Okay, I can do 80-20 and then 2.2 mil? Okay, I really hope that Muller accepts that. 
And if he doesn't, I can just do the same with Larucci, but... So how much money do we actually have left? Please be something like 4 million. Because I, I want to get another midfielder in that can actually play CM. Because for some reason all the others that the squad has can't. And they're bad as well. <laughs> no, I think... Jensen is never, well, it's probably not, it's not very likely that he's going to play his former club. Trubin, I don't think, will ever play his former club. I don't think we're going to ever play Shakhtar Donetsk, um, unless, was, did he come from Shakhtar Donetsk? I think he did, but if he did, don't think we're going to play against them unless we get into the Champions League and we get a draw with them. Ah, why is it taking so long to load? I only wanted to go to office. It's no, uh, it's not that laggy. Come on, eat. Yay! Please! Now you let me... Is it my controller that's not in properly? That has happened to me before. There, I heard the sound effect, but... Yep, I really need to... Whenever I... Okay, two... Point seven six million. I went. I did all that just to see how much money we had. It's gonna take a uh, just to load again. No, it's not. Alright, it's between John Buckley and Hanoa Masengo. I I don't know if I actually got that name right. I feel like Masengo is younger, but he can play Cam. Yeah. He's attacking minded and he's defensive minded. And I'm going for John Buckley then. Oh. I do want to get a bit more money first, so why don't I just go for a player swap if I really need the money? Well, because player swaps can take off like, um, I don't know how much they take off, but they can take off like, if it's a good 1.5 million player, it can take off like anywhere from like, 1.5 million, obviously, to 2 million. So, um, what will I do? I never knew what uh, notifications was. One time it was disabled and I enabled it and nothing happened, so <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Once I did the Brentford save, and in the first, uh, in in the second season, I was in the Europa League because I won the Carabao Cup. And it's and winning the Carabao Cup isn't that much of an achievement, honestly. You know. Why not just buy him? Well, now my game's running so much better for some reason. Not running bad. 
guess my game just hates me. But so I gotta check how much money we currently have to see how much I'm gonna try and take off this. We would have enough if we got base price. So how much do they think that he's worth? They think that he's worth like 2.7. Do we have any other players worth 2.5 million. I just want to get as many young players into the club as possible early. And bringing in a central midfielder when literally all of our other central midfielders are CDMs, not actually central midfielders, is a good idea. So. We've not got massive amounts of money, but we've got massive amounts of players, so... Well, we are... Like I was saying last episode, it is more um, quality over quantity for this team, actually, so... Not really... Actually... <laughs> I was just thinking... Like, I was just... Like, I think it was yesterday, I was thinking of, like, a cool video idea. And I was like, why not see if I can make the Kari of Bakali a great player again? And it has, it's actually possible. Like, his age when it starts is 24. And, and I tried it, and he grew to 69 in the first season, which is his potential. But if he actually did good that season, the dynamic potential would get him a couple more and then he'll keep growing with dynamic potential so i think so it's not like impossible to make to actually get bakali's um potential past what it originally was it's just pretty nice so mm. Next game against Gillingham. I think, like, we've got such a strong team. Yeah, I thought that he'll decline it. But we've got, like, a really strong team. Like, for League One, it's good. But then for the Championship and Premier League, it's rubbish. Ah. So I think, and the more players that we are able to loan out, the better because everyone loves loaning players out. But you know, so it's, so there's this nice solid team with. I don't. He 
reminds me of someone, but I'm not sure who. Okay. I don't, I don't even want to use this team anymore. Like, a lot of the, I'm going to be simming, like, months at a time. A lot of the time, obviously. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not going to be, uh, playing a lot of it. It's mainly going to be me simming it. Oops. Well, that's him not getting loaned out. Pro's loan without buy. Look, uh, if you want, if someone offers loan without buy, uh, did I put him on the transfer list? Yeah, but if you put a player on loan without buy, without um, delegating it, they just instantly say no for some reason. I never got why. Now, don't we get, like, a scout report on the second every day? Hayden Coulson. Not sure about those moves. Please be good, thing. Yes! 22. Can play left back, left wing back and left mid. Okay. I've got a new centimeter, yes. Oh no. I'd love to have him and Coulson at the back. So I'm gonna sell um that centimeter who I forgot the name of. Why is this one offering for? Well, you know that I don't want him. Like, I do want him, so I'm just going to block them because for some reason people are offering for him and I want to keep him. He should be in the start. Ah, why is he not in the starting 11? I didn't notice that I had him. Hmm, sorry, dude. But you, you're gonna play all the Willis. Grr. But, but I, I was trying to check what age this dude is. Yeah, 26. Happy with some of him. Yeah, here Onion is. There. There. No, I really like how balanced the squad is. Look, pretty much everyone's around the 65 rating. I, I think the average of this squad right now is probably 66 because we have um how many we have uh three players who are 65 one who's 61 then two which are 70 and up yeah it might be average 66 and trubin has gone up already i really like uh no, I would rather him being better at diving because I want him to stay in the box and instead of being the sweeper keeper. So I'm going to sell that guy or I'm going to put him part of the deal for that new 67 rated one that I'm planning to get. Once, yes, he's now sold. 
set. Hayden Coulson. I feel like if I really tried, I could get him for pretty cheap. So, player swap, fullback. I think that. Actually, I didn't see this guy, but I'd rather have someone who's 22 and is 67 rated than is 22 and 65 rated. And also, he's a left back, and we play left backs, not wing backs. So, and then, um, like 600k. Plus, like, a 1% sell-on clause. They might accept that. Ooh. Scowling, yeah. Deal. Okay. I really like the look of him. I really do, and I think he could... Easily play left wing for us if we need a backup left winger or left mid, of course, because that is actually one of his listed positions. So, yeah, you can be important four years, that's perfect. I do not want a release clause. Um, uh, 7.98, I guess. Hmm. 190. Why not 7.9? <laughs> it's closer to 8,000. <laughs> I just don't want to offer him 8,000 because that's a bit. But now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, 6 players plus our. Uh, our best youth academy player, Courgette, that's seven, I think. So seven fantastic players. I, I want to just do this Sunderland thing in here. Like, it's going to work. We've spent crazy amounts, but I'm happy. The six players in, look, it can't even show all the players that we've bought there. And quite a few players out. Oh, I... I forgot about Twine. I really like him. He's a central midfielder. Like, I think, how many players have we sold? Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five. I don't remember selling him, but. Okay, bye. Yes, yeah, five players sold, and then six players in. So actually, so our biggest player, which was actually half of what we spent in total, uh, Jensen. I think that is a great deal. And Masengo, oh, I, I hate that he's on poor form. Then Coulson. That that's a really good deal there. Then Kelman is on okay form. That's oh, and actually, uh, six play. Wait, how many players out? So one, two, three. So seven, no, eight players out because of course it counts these as out, and of course it is out. Hans, Trubin, he's been on okay form, but I'm fine with that. Oh, we managed to get him for cheap. Now he's one million more. What's the most expensive move other than? Oh, because it adds both the values of it adds the values of both players. So like going, it adds value of the uh, yeah, it adds no. 
consonant and it adds the value of going. Now here, homes and it adds the value of right. Did we really get him for only 500k? That's a really good deal. Then, um, uh, Masengo, uh, we, we a lot of these players, we're getting for pretty cheap. Yeah, he did come from Shakhtar Donetsk. So, Truin, cheap again. I think, okay then, White out of the club. Actually, the only move out of the club, uh, the first one out. And so we spent a lot on players there, but so like he's only got one year on his contract. He, yeah, he, he's not gonna play much in the next couple of years. I don't think anyway, because like, if you look like, in his top, I don't know how many that is, but shooting isn't even there. So Charlie White out of the club, or what's he called? Yeah, Charlie White out of the club. And then next, it's Charlie Kelman into the club. Both strikers. Yeah, I, I sold Charlie White and I got Charlie Kelman as a replacement for him. Max Power out of the club. A CM. So I would say a fair amount. I don't really look at their values when I'm selling. I, don't, I just don't remember selling Chris Maguire. But I must have, but he, looking at his stats, like, his top stats are, yeah, but he's getting gold and 31. I don't like older players, no. Tom Flanagan off to Dunno, uh, Burge off to, I don't know, again. <laughs> Um, and then, then the loan moves. Two, no, we have definitely not only had two loan moves, but, oh, Mount to Barcelona, wait, okay, feel like I should actually get some players from free agents. Oh, yeah, that's, like, a really good player that I uh, once got from free agents, it's always good to, Keats also pretty good, a lot of these players are, like, Oh, they got them first. Dwight Gale loaned to Len. There are some weird loan moves. Top, top moves. It's Marquinhos to Leipzig. Milinkovic Savage to PSG. I don't know how to say his name, but like these are big moves. One hundred nineteen point nine million uh, for Marquinhos to go from PSG to Leipzig, then uh, Milinkovic Savic one hundred sixteen million to go to PSG. So the top two moves are to do with PSG. This lad, the uh, Juventus, he's getting paid a lot. A hundred million. They paid them pretty much exactly 100 million for Skriniar to go to United. And just 1 million pounds shy of uh, 100 million is Luis Alberto to Real Madrid from Lazio. Lazio are selling a lot of their, well, two of their biggest uh, midfielders. And I don't know his name. Oh, he's, he must be. Uh, a great player who's pretty young because, uh, yeah, he's Langley to Bayern, Oscar to uh, Lazio, Ginter to Spurs, Mount to Barcelona. That is a stupid. That is much. I just want to tell whoever's in charge of Barcelona right now that you do not need to be paying that much for him. But Busquets to Spurs? Yeah, I'm just going to quickly go through them now. They're not as, like, biggest players ever. So now I'm not even going to show you. Actually, I'll show you some which are older players that are really good. So I'll just go through them just so you can see. Um... 
Actually, I'm a fan of Wolf. So that's why I checked that one. But you, you, how much does thirty-nine million in real life? He's worth like seventy million. But yeah, the lack is that to buy him for only okay, Alaba. Oh, okay. I'm I'm going to go over the more interesting ones that I think you might want to see. Dyer out of Spurs. Yeah, you like you now you can just look at them. There's not going to be much more interesting ones. I will click on them if they're pretty interesting, like Bonucci to Real Madrid, but and Zeko. I actually have FIFA 13, and I think Enzieco plays for uh, City in that. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to go to the last hour. I've just spent ages looking at transfer deals. Younger. Happy with him going on a loan without an option to buy. Okay. I don't think I'm going to buy any more players. I'll just go over what League One teams have bought, because obviously that would be in the top moves. No, I don't think there's, like, we've pretty much been the only team to spend uh, that much. It's not that interesting, but then Twine going out, which I would pay, like, 1.5 million for, so. Okay. Is there... This Polish goalkeeper who I might actually want to train up. So, scouting report, no, 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 and maybe, okay. I'll see how good he is. Wait, so do we really have that little money? We do. Okay, do decent. I think that might actually be the last month of scouting as well. Because I set it for three months. I'll see how we do in this episode, not episode game. Okay, why can't we, why can't we uh, all have all our games like this? So we win. And also Kelman scoring, I think that's his first goal of the season. Yeah, Colson hasn't played yet. He deserves to, I just remember that I'm just looking at my squad and like look at this first team pretty much every yeah I think every player other than Kelman who I do who I want to give playtime, because if I don't give him playtime, he won't grow, but... So, every player other than Kelman is is 
uh, 65 or above. On the bench, every player is above is 65 or above, other than Sanderson. I am actually going to swap out for this dude here. And then, like, the results is what you'd expect for a... Well, not actually what you'd expect. Better than what you'd expect. I, I, I'd expect, like, 50s for a team like this. But I'm pretty... So, even though we... It's not... There's not much squad depth. It's definitely uh, quality over quantity here. With Jensen being our big player that I've got, but most expensive uh, by that. And then Masengo, pretty good. I don't expect him to do amazing, because I know that he's more defensive-minded. I, I was originally between him and the other dude, but he's more defensive-minded, and I'm happy with that. I, I like great defences, and I think that that's what this is yeah now now that i've moved into a center back but yeah then courgette or corbett you can call him whatever you want then holmes i really like the look of him six foot two six foot three yep defense is nice and tall six foot six You're 19, lad. That is insanely tall. So, like, how how young he is, like, do you, it's like you stop growing at about that age, but the average human's only, like, six foot. And you would expect a goalkeeper to be, like, six foot three, but that's just really tall. <laughs> And then, like, Kelman, he's not done amazing growth, but I think that he definitely... Look, I've got unavailable players because of... What's it called? <laughs> mm. So, yeah, okay. Um... Hill... I don't really mind. Oh, it's because I've got Kelman on. Or was it, it was the reason that I got him on balance because it didn't really make a difference. Yeah, I remember it didn't really make a difference with balance or not. So, yep, seven weeks till he goes up. I don't really mind about that. Uh, seven weeks really isn't that long for this game. <laughs> Now, I'll be saving one or two months just off camera, just so I don't have to... Now, I want him to be... Uh, yeah, more defensive. Wait, will that take... Yeah, it will take shorter than um, general, so I'm happy. No, yeah, Ruben's already got one. Oh, I didn't give one to Holmes, okay. I'm just going through giving players what I think they need. What type of defender is he? Like, I remember he being pretty tall. Good strength, good aggression. Defensive centre-back. I, I don't know how you can have a defensive def defender, but okay. Well... Because all defenders are defensive minded. Okay, that's it. And then, of course, Coulson, the new lad. I think you know, if I need a winger, he can play there. Um, like, what team do you think he would be more attacking? Because he can play left mid and stuff, but it'd be kind of realistic for him to be. So I do actually want to go to team management. This video is a bit of a long, a bit of a long one. How good is he? 
I'm happy with that. Like, only being like, mm, not sure he should play here at all. It's like, but like, if it's red, it means that they really shouldn't play there. But hi guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, and I certainly enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. So, bye!